Hey, Becky. Hey, Don. Hey, Carmen. Hey, hey, hey. It's wreath kit time. Oh, I have to bear with me. It is hotter than Hades in here. Ugh. If you guys wouldn't mind sharing, I appreciate it. Virginia, I am making my beach side sweet shop wreath kit. So uh, last I looked, I had three of these left. Yay, Kara uh, from Kara's Creations and More is gonna be my moderator. It looks like, yep, you're on as me, Kara. Yay, give a shout out to Kara. So let me show you what we got. So this is the sign. Isn't that cute? I got this sign from the Three Birds Nest on Etsy. Oh, I love that sign. Love it. I'm going to have to buy some more. Thank you, Becky. And so the wreath kit comes with that sign. It comes with a whole roll of 21 inch mint metallic mesh because the sign in it has um mint purple kind of a pinkish coral color a little bit of black and purple isn't that cute love it love it love it love it hey tammy how are you hun um you're gonna get a whole roll of pink and light purple metallic 10 inch mesh. I cut these in uh, 30 inches because I'm going to do poofs and ruffles. Okay. So you'll get two rolls, the purple and the, and the pink. Um, Kara will share all my links, my Etsy page. I do have it listed on my Etsy page. Um, so, and like I said, there's only like three left. Hey, Dottie. And you're going to get mm, your ribbons. There's four different colors of ribbons. Um, you're going to get them nine in nine a piece uh, cut at 12 inches and already dovetailed. So you're going to get like a shimmery purple and a black and white stripe. And this is called an ice blue. I got all of these. Um, mesh and ribbons at Craft Outlet. So this is like a light blue, an ice, they call it like an ice blue. It's not a turquoise or a robin's egg. It's, it's an ice blue and a coral with the anchors on it for the beach theme. Okay. So, um, and it also will come with a handmade bow. Alrighty, and let's see it's gonna come with also with a purple wreath form I got all of this all of it from craft outlet except for the sign I got from three birds nest hey Judy hey Juanita thank you for coming and you're gonna get this pick that I got from craft outlet. It's got some little berries on it. It's got some little seashells, a starfish, some greenery. And you're gonna get three lollipops that I made. Aren't those cute? I love those. So you get three of those. Okay. I'm just gonna kind of put these over here. My craft room, you guys, is a mess. Um, just because <laughs> I have been working on orders and projects and hey Cheryl, hey Rhonda, hey Willie, hey hey hey. So let's get started. I'm going to pan down here just a second. Let me move some of my stuff here. Okay, let me pan down for you so you can see. I've got to get on my step stool because I'm, you know, vert vertically challenged. 
five foot three doesn't go very far, evidently. Okay, hold on. Let me pan down. Yeah, yeah, turn your device. I want to make sure. Okay. You can see the whole table. Oh yeah, there we go. It sucks being vertically challenged sometimes. Oh, that's okay. Um, just go to... Oh, thank you, Cheryl. Thank you, Al. Hey, Judy. Hey, hey, hey. Alright. So, I'm gonna do this in uh, 10-inch poofs. I'm gonna need three... Come on. Three zip ties. Okay. This is over here for now. All right. So this will be a little different for me because I'm not used to doing a wreath with a limited amount of embellishments. Thank you, Dottie. Hey, Sandy. Hey, Isla. Hey, Sweet Pea. Hey, Sweet Pea's here. So, um, again, this is my beach wreath kit. I do have this listed in my Etsy shop. There is only three of these left. Okay. So, I'm going to start with, let me move my 10-inch rolls here up so it doesn't get caught. All right. I don't, I'm not going to cut my ends or anything like that just because um, it's going to go in front of the tie anyway and I cut it when after I put it in the tie. So, I'm going to open up these ties. I'm going to put the ends in front of this tie and then put the poof in this next tie because we're going to end with this tie. Okay, so I'm going to take this. Let me go and let, give me some hearts or some thumbs up if you can, if the view's okay. Okay. Thank you, sweet pea. This is my first wreath kit, so I'm excited and nervous all at the same time, you know? Empty my garbage. Okay. So, and I usually don't do reform wreaths. I usually use evergreen, so it would help if I can see. Put the glasses on. Okay, so I'm going to be doing 10 inch poofs. So I just fold my side under. And you should have enough on your roll of each roll that you can do rolls in this too. So if you want to do poofs, ruffles and rolls, you could do that too. Hey Barb. Hey Janice. How are you? Okay. And I do one, two, three. I count to three and that usually gives me a 10 inch poof. Okay. Let's put it in the next tie. Hey, Mary Ellen. Hey, Betsy. Okay, so. One, two, three. I love this mint green. Love it. I love mint green. I'm not a big green fan, but I like like a, an, um, a hunter green or this mint green's pretty. When I saw that sign, I'm like, hmm. I love the sign. But I'm wondering how these colors would really go together. So I had to really think about it <laughs> and really look at some items and craft outlet and see, I'm like, hmm. Cause there is a little bit of purple in there. So I wanted to base to be a little bit of purple. Hey, Denise, hon. Oh, yay. Thank you. Thank you, Kara. 
Makara from Kara's Creations is more is uh, my moderator. She is on as me, so give a shout out to Kara. Um, she can put she'll put her link to her Facebook page as well. Um, so if you can check her out, that would be awesome. And you know, subscribe to her YouTube page. So I know she's almost close to a hundred, so she'll get her her Earl. Hey, Miss Laura, how are you, hun? So being with my first, <laughs> you might get two, um, two bows in the kit. It depends on um, how much ribbon I have left over, because I think I bought too much ribbon which is, you know, never a problem, right? Um, so, it's a learning experience doing your first one. And I try to put the kits together like I would make a regular wreath. Um, granted, I, there's not as many embellishments as I would normally put in my wreath, but um, I try to pick something that would go together really well. And the good thing with picks, like that starfish pick, is you can tear them apart and use it a lot in, di in different ways. Hey girl, there she is, Three Birds Nest, I'm using your sign. I love it. I may have to order some more. Poor girl, I just went in and ordered 20 of her signs and she's like, oh, crap. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> Thank you, Kara. Okay, I think this will look really pretty together with the mints. I like, I love the colors in the sign, the mints and the kind of a coralish pink and the purple. Um, and then you got the sweets on it. And I love the beach. The beach is like my happy place. I don't know about you guys, but I grew up on the West Coast, so getaway it sucks because out here in Colorado I'm landlocked so I don't ever get to see the beach unless I go home to Portland so so this is the last tie then we're gonna transfer up to the top let me show you how we do that hey Valerie how are you hun oh Yes, thank you, Kara. Appreciate it. Okay, so we're gonna do the same as we did at the bottom. I'm gonna go right in front of this tie and put the poof in this one. Okay, so I'm gonna curl this side just like I normally do. Okay, transfer this to the top. Now again, before I got on the live, I had like three of these kits left. So um, I don't know if they're they're gone now, but there were three when I when I got on this live. Okay, so we're gonna go through this tie. That'll be the one we end with, and then we'll put our poof in this one. I know, aren't they pretty, Becky? She did a good, very good job of matching these colors on her sign. She has got some really pretty signs. So you need to check out the Three Birds Nest on Etsy. And I know she's on our live right now. I know, I love this mint and green. I got, um, a, a custom order for a swag to do those because um, I had made those door arches with this mint green and the 10 inch 
and because that's I was just using leftover and then she wants a wreath to go with or a wreath to go with it so I asked her if she wanted to sign and she goes no just I want it to be more flowers and match the arches I'm like all right so I bought some more mint but I'm like mm, I really like this color and it seems to go fast so I bought like four rolls of it <laughs> you know hey Michelle there she is all right so my next kit um, once I sell the rest of the kits that are in my shop, I also do have a farmer's market kit that the sign also came from Three Birds Nest. Such a cute sign. I don't have it in here with me, but wait, I might. Hmm. Let me see if I can find it. I know I have it. Hold on just a second. I have my other kits out in the sunroom. Let me see if I have it in here. No. I have it. I just don't know what I did with the other one. But I have it all out in the sunroom. It's really cute. You'll have to check out her sign. Her little farmer. It's got check on it. It's really cute. There she is. Thank you, Laura. I appreciate it. Obviously. Laura, did you order some of these signs? Yes, they are like Little Mermaid. I like this a metallic mint because it's it's not too thin, but it's thin enough that it's easy to manage. And again, I like, like I said, you're you're gonna have some left over on your 10 inch roll. So if you wanted, you could do some rolls in here as well. And I might add some after the live. I'm not sure yet. I love her signs. Love them. There's some Halloween ones I'm eyeing. And some fall ones I'm eyeing. Are you guys getting warm yet? Where you at? It was almost a hundred degrees here today. <laughs> Not liking it yet. Yes, if you could guys could please share and like. I appreciate it. You know, as Laura says, sharing is caring. All right. So that is the last of it. So. Now, how I usually do this is I take about maybe three or four inches, usually about four inches, and cut it. Okay. And then I'll have enough left over for a swag or something. Okay. Then flip it to the back. Does this thing keep... There we go. Okay. I just want to make sure you guys got the best view. And take a zip tie. a uh, hundred degrees. Mm -mm -mm. Absolutely, girlfriend. We gotta support each other, right? I like just to cut the ends of mine off. You don't have to, but I like to do that. Okay. Put these 
up a little bit. Isn't that pretty? I love that purple and that mint together. So pretty. Okay, so I'm like trying to see which way is the best. There's more room on this side. So I'm going to... I have got glue webs everywhere, you guys, because I've been making lollipops half the day. All right. I need a bigger table is my problem. Okay, so I'm going to start doing ruffles. Now I cut these at 30 inches. And something heavy. Thank you, Miss Laura. I'm going to put the pink in every other tie and the purple in every other tie. Um, I wanted the mint to be the base because most of the background on the sign is mint. And it'll be actually, actually, it'll be more like an accent color because once we put in the ruffles, um, you won't see a whole lot of it. So it'll kind of be poking through a little bit. Pity. I love those colors together. Another purple. Yeah, it was hot here today already. Hey, Claudia. Hey, hon. How are you? Make sure I didn't miss anybody. Hey, Amy. Hey, Deb, how are you? Just making sure I didn't miss anybody. So yeah, it is hotter than Hades in here. So I'm so excited because Regency is gonna start sending their orders out. Um, and I ordered a bunch of stuff for my store for Christmas. I know it's hard to think about Christmas and it's only May, right? We just got over with Christmas. Let's see, December, January, March, April, five months ago. <laughs> I asked a lady in Hobby Lobby yesterday, I said, so when do you guys normally get your Halloween in? <laughs> she kind of looked at me and I'm like, I know it's early. I said, but I have a crafting business and I work four or five months ahead, if not more. She kind of giggled. <laughs> The lady standing behind me in line, we were waiting to get in because they do um, from um, from 9 to 10, they do let the seniors in and then they open to the public at 10. So I was just standing in line and I said that and the lady kind of looked at me like, are you serious right now? <laughs> like, well, it's true. You know, got to do what you got to do. So, yeah, I'm excited for um, Regents to start getting that stuff from Regency. I'm going to have some premium ribbon, a lot of four-inch ribbon, some really pretty um, ornaments. So, I'm excited. I know Laura ordered a bunch of stuff, too, so we're both really chomping at the bit to get her. I'm really kind of leery. I'm kind of nervous though to see what the shipping's gonna be. That's the only thing that I'm worried about. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't suspect that the shipping is gonna be what I, what I hope it's not gonna be, like, but I've never ordered with them, so we'll see. So I got everything, um, all the mesh, all the ribbon from Craft Outlet. So I don't, it's, well, I looked this morning. I don't think that they're taking orders right now, but make sure that you have your cart full with what you want. So when they do enable the um, orders that you can just hit that checkout button. I know I can't wait either. I have to get um, two more racks 
like what I have in my craft room wire racks for supplies because I've already with the wreath kits has taken up room. Uh, I've got boxes everywhere in my sunroom. So I need and I've got shipping boxes everywhere in my sunroom. So and I need I need the space for my Regency order. <laughs> it's probably gonna take one whole rack, just saying. Um, Willie Regency is a wholesaler. It's kind of like, um, oh, what is that one? Carl Bachman. Is that his name? It does the same thing. Um, but everything's, you have to order in bulk. And you have to have a business license. Kind of like Sims, but on more of an intense level. I'm excited. I'm so excited. So excited. All right. So, yeah, we ordered a bunch of, and it was funny because Laura and I compared notes on what we ordered, and we ordered a few of the same things, but a lot of it, we ordered different things, which is awesome. I know we'll both have different things in our store. That was a long... There we go. Oh, so you guys have to see this little cake I made. Oh my God, it is so stinking cute. So I made another mini cake. Look at it. It's a unicorn cake. See a little horn in the ears? How cute. It's got little unicorns on the side. It's got little rhinestones on it. It's so cute. So cute. Um, and also I should have... <laughs> I do too for another kit, Carmen, but um, I need to wait until Craig Bachman. That's it. Um, I need to sell my other wreath kits before I buy, buy more stuff for more wreath kits. Because my next wreath kit is going to be Halloween. Halloween, Halloween. Uh, yeah, it's Regency International. Um, Carmen, I cut my ruffles at 30 inches. So I, my poofs are 10 inches and my ruffles are cut at 30 inches. And my ribbon are cut at... Um, 12 inches. I need the um, 10 inch ribbon tail, but I don't, I'd have to buy the whole set in order to get the 10. Cause Laura, I have a, your old set where I've got the 14, 12 and 13, but I don't have the 10. So I may just have to make it out of some cardboard. That'll work. I think Sean would sell me just one. <laughs> Thank you, Valerie. Thank you, Isla. Hey, Karen. How are you, hon? All right. A couple more on the bottom, and then we'll move to the top. I'm not used to using this much mesh. Usually, I use a um, an evergreen form, and I use just leftover mesh. So... <clears throat> done a regular wreath form in a while. I'm starting to kind of get back into signs again. I've been seeing a lot of cute signs, so um, mostly I've been looking for signs for wreath kits. A couple for my own projects, but for wreath kits mainly. Isn't this pretty? Love the colors, love the colors. Oh, it's hotter than Hades in here. This poof is like acting up. There we go. So what's that one? Oh, cause that one's the... Hey Michelle, how are you, hon? Thank you for coming. I love coming, having new people come. Thank you for coming. 
Welcome, welcome, welcome. So my sister, um, she, my whole family is, I'm the only one that flew the coop. So my whole, so to speak. So my whole family is in Portland, Oregon. And my sister is a huge beach freak like I am. She's at the beach every weekend. So she decided to, and it makes sense, um, rent like a little studio apartment down at the beach. So that way when they go to the beach, they can just um, stay at the Cause I mean, it's going to cost eventually the, probably the, the same, if not maybe less than a hotel room, right? Okay. So this is the last one on the bottom and we'll move to the top. And so I told my mom, I said, well, now I got to need to make her, Hey Kathy, how are you? Um, now I got to need to make her a beach wreath. <laughs> hey Diane. Hey Leela. Is it? Is it Lilia? Is that how you say your name, hon? I don't want to butcher your name. I'm sorry. So her, her colors are um, white and navy blue and regular blue. And I think she said like a sand color. So I just bought a sign for that. It's really cute. It's called Beach Rules. So I'm waiting for that to come in. Again, you guys, uh, this kit is in my shop. Uh, there was only three left uh, last time I looked. So I'm going to put a pink right here. And I cut these at 30 inches. So we're doing um, 30 inch ruffles. Yes, I cut the, th um, the poofs. The mint is a uh, 21 inch mesh cut um, done in 10 inch mesh is cut 30 inches. To make ruffles in the kit you're gonna get a whole roll of the pink mesh and the well of all of it actually the 21 inch meshes as well so you should have more enough left over if you want to do some rolls and put it in there um, that would look really cute So I shouldn't be buffering anymore, thank goodness, because I finally find, aw, thank you for all the hearts, you guys are amazing. Um, I just, what was I saying? <laughs> I had a squirrel moment. <laughs> I saw all the hearts and I got distracted. <laughs> hey, Pat, how are you, hon? Oh, I was saying, um, I finally got my Wi-Fi fixed. So I guess what happened was, and I was dealing this for this for two weeks, so frustrated with CenturyLink. Not a big fan. Um, so we've been out in, out in this area for 20 years. We had our house built, so we're the original owners. But when we moved out here, there was only like maybe 20 houses out here, if that. And so they gradually put in our internet lines, but it's the cheap lines. So our internet line was bad. Hey Lillian, how are you, hun? I know Michelle, they're all fantastic. So um, I finally, finally got them out here and they had to replace the internet line because my Wi-Fi kept going in and out. So that's why I kept buffering all the time. And I thought, well, maybe it's just because I live out in the middle of nowhere. No, you guys just did a crappy job when you originally put in my line and the line's bad. So the guy came out, uh, not this last Friday, but the Friday before. And 
um, put in a temporary line for me because I work from home in my craft room as well. So I can't afford to have my internet going in and out. So he, um, and that fix it. So <laughs> we, my husband called CenturyLink and set up an appointment to have the guy come out and actually replace the line. So it was done correctly. So, of course, you know, they give you an all-day window. We'll be there from 8 to 5 because, you you know, we all don't have anything else to do, right? <laughs> hey, Vera, how are you? Hey, Vicky. So, he, um, my husband called and goes, well, because I, well, actually, I texted him and I said, well, did the guy come out? Because I hadn't heard anything. And usually he would text me and say, well, you know, what's going on? Oh, uh, yeah, but he said he couldn't come in the house, so nothing was done. I was like, oh, mm -mm, I am not dealing with that. So I called CenturyLink. <laughs> My husband calls me a bulldog because I just don't put up with anything. So I called CenturyLink, and I said, so we have four problems, okay? One, um, my internet was supposed to be replaced and your tech came out and said he couldn't come in the house, which I get with everything going on. But if that was the case, then, you know, my husband wouldn't have had to take all day off of work. Two, I mean, I gave her this whole list of issues they were having. <clears throat> I said, so, how are we going to fix this? She sent me directly to the tech that was supposed to be out here to fix it. And um, I, was, I was cordial to him, but I was not nice at the same time. And he goes, so um, I'm just calling you back to see what the problem is. I said, well, the problem is that you were supposed to be out hooking up my internet to replace the line, but you said you couldn't go in the house but yet we had to wait all day, hey Erica, for you to tell us that. He goes, oh, well I can go in the house as long as I fill out the paperwork. I said, well, why didn't you tell my husband that? He goes, well, I can be out there at 2.30. I said, here's what you need to do. I said, because I'm at work right now, having to deal with you guys yet again, you need to call him and set it up because he's, he's at home. <laughs> so, he ended up coming back out at 2.30 and, sit and replacing the line. It took him five minutes, you guys. Five minutes. It took all that for five minutes. Hey, Josie, how are you, hon? So, yeah, at least it's fixed now. Mm. I tell you what, if we can never get a different provider out here, I'm, I'm switching. I, I just can't stand dealing. Well, what they did is like, okay, well, we'll just send you a new box. I don't want a new box. It's not the box. It wasn't. Ugh. I mean, you don't. I don't have to work for CenturyLink to tell you it's not the box because I I knew it was the connection because um, we have two Wi-Fi boxes, one for the living room and then one for my craft room, so I can have my own Wi-Fi. Um. So the one in the living room, I noticed when that Wi-Fi went out, this one in here went out at the same time. So I'm like, hmm, that's a connection issue, not a box issue. So sure enough. So she sent me a box and it still did it. I'm like, don't you guys look at the box. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming, guys. For those of you who just joined, if you could do me a favor and like and share, I appreciate it. This is um, a beach wreath kit that I have in my shop that I'm making. Uh, last time I looked, there was three left. And the sign that I got for this wreath kit is from... The Three Birds Nest. She's got some awesome signs. So check her out. 
the wreath kit that I'm going to be doing live on Friday is also her sign. It's a farmer's market sign. This is so pretty. I love these colors together. All right, last one. It's like exactly, it's fixed now. As much as I had to go through, it's finally fixed. Ugh, that's such an ordeal. And you guys, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, 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 keeping my fingers crossed that I will have my Scarecrow sets done so I can show you guys what they look like and have those in my store, in my shop as well by this weekend. I've, I made another set last night, um, but I'm not going to show it yet until I get all the sets done. It turned out really, really cute. Okay, you want to make sure that your ruffles are up against each other and not squishing each other. All right, there we go. Isn't that pretty? I love those colors together, so pretty. All right, so now we're gonna put in the ribbons. And again, let me show you the sign. This is the sign. It says Beachside Sweet Shop. So it's got all different kinds of goodies on there. Donuts, it's even got a flower on it, starfish. Ice cream cones, macaroons, popsicles, all kinds of stuff. Cute sign. All right, so we are going to do, I got four different colors of ribbon. We're going to do the black and the purple together. These are cut at 12 inches um, and also dovetailed for you already. And then we're going to do the ice blue and the coral together. And let's see here. What color should... I think I'm going to put... Let me see. I'm going to put the coral in with the pink. And then... Oh, I don't know because we... You know, I think I'm going to put the the purple and the black in with the pink because if I put this in with the purple, it's kind of drown it out. And the purple and the blue go good together. Okay. Here. Hey, Bonita. Thank you. I appreciate it. I know the beach is my happy place. I said I was putting up the purple, right? Okay, so you just put it in the tie and then alternate the ribbons, just like that. Okay. It's gonna be so pretty, 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 pretty. And you don't have to open the ties. If your ties are short, Sometimes on the wreath forms, the ties can be a little short and also because of depending also on your mesh, if it's thicker, thank you, Michelle. Um, if the mesh is thicker, it'll take up more room. So if you, if you have, if it seems short, you can open up your tie and put your ribbons in. Okay. It's wrong way. Okay, we're doing this one. Oh, so how's everybody doing tonight on a Monday night? Um, actually, Valerie, I didn't have very many of this one in the kit. Um, because I ordered so many signs from her, she gave me five free signs, so I just used those as a kit. So there was only actually four. Um, and then this one. So she, this will be the fifth one. But my main kit is the Farmer's Market kit, 
which I have 19 of those. I had 19. I don't know how many are left now. Um, Norma, the ribbons are 12 inches long and dovetailed. I love this sign though. It's so cute. And they didn't have any candy that I liked on Craft Outlet that were in stock. So I'm like, well, I'll just make some lollipops. So you're welcome. So you're on regular Facebook. Yeah. Yeah, Josie, I'm on Facebook. Is that what you're asking? And I didn't put much black in it because just I didn't want the black to overpower the wreath. There is a little bit of black in the wording for in the in the um, sign, so I wanted to have just a little bit of black to pop. Hey Esther, how are you? Oh no, um, the group is on Tuesday nights, hun. The lives. So what Josie's talking about is I do have a, um, a design group called the Craft Shack. It is a monthly paid group of um, $14 a month. And you get uh, one live a week and two tutorials per week. Um, I have been doing mostly lives in my group though because um, I've been working from home and my office's computer is faster than mine because they're on a network and so i usually upload my tutorials from there but since i'm working from home i just do lives instead um we also we do giveaways um and we do all kinds of things we do wreaths we do embellishments swag centerpieces mannequin heads you name it we do it So she was asking um, if I was on the group page and stick into my mesh. What's going on with this ruffle? This ruffle is not cooperating. There we go. I'm not used to using 12 inch. I usually use 14 inch ribbons, but Yeah, we need rain out here so bad. I don't know what it's like where you guys are, but it's so dry right now out here in Colorado. We had um, a thunder and lightning storm um, a couple days ago, so we did get some rain, but we need more. We need more rain. Hey, Terry, how are you, hon? Aw, thank you, Michelle. I appreciate it. Looks like, I know, it looks like a tutu. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> and Kara from uh, Kara's Creations and More is my moderator. So um, she's the one that looks like she's, I'm in the talking, but it's Kara. So Shout out to Kara if you would also like and um, share her Facebook page as well. She can put her link on here if she wants to. And don't forget to also um, like and share my page. Sharing is caring. That's how we all grow by sharing and supporting each other. I'm going to stand up to do this. Forgetting what 
colors I'm putting in here. Oh no, a flood warning. Thank you, Esther. I appreciate it. And Karen will be um, sharing all my links for my YouTube, Facebook, Etsy, that kind of thing. And I do have this kit in my shop. So just fold it in half and then pinch it. Oh, I love it out here. Although, you know, I do miss the beach. I really do. We're landlocked out here and I'm so used to being like an hour away from the beach. <clears throat> I have withdrawals every now and then but the mountains here are gorgeous. In fact, we're getting ready to go camping here pretty soon. I'm excited. Okay, Valerie, you have a good night, huh? Thank you for coming. Sweet dreams. So probably what I'm gonna do, um, I may put some ruffles in the middle. I'm gonna, I'll see when I'm get to that point. Thank you, Valerie. Um, we do sometimes get a lot of snow in the winter time. It gets brutal cold here sometimes. I'm like down sometimes in the negatives, which I, I'm not a big fan of. I don't like the cold, but then I don't like the extreme hot either. I don't know. I'm just never temperature happy, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Am I missing one? We do have a lot of ski resorts here though. We've got Vail, Aspen, Breckenridge. Um, one of the well-known ones that you see on like the extreme sport things that they do with snowboarding. They usually do them here. Okay, thought I can't miscount it, but I didn't. It's easy to do when you're chit-chatting. Yeah, I know Kara's been telling me how hot it is there. No oh, thanks. My husband was saying, oh, we should, we should, you know, when I retire, move to, you know, have our our winter home in Arizona. I'm like, oh, it gets like 120 there. I don't want to live in Arizona. <laughs> no thanks. Thank you, Denise. Okay, so that is all the ribbon. I'm not used to using 12 inch, that's funny. Okay, now. So that's what we got. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. I love those colors together. She did such a good job. Okay, so sign time. I love this sign, isn't it cute? Love it. Such a cute sign. I got this sign from Three Birds Nest. All right. Oh, and she put holes in it already for me. Yay! So normally, um, so the holes do come in it already. One in each corner. my wire. I use 22 gauge wire to put my signs in. 
Good night, Denise. Have a good night, hon. Thank you for coming. Um, I think I might put a ruffle in the middle. Just because, let me, I'll have to put a sign, the sign over there and see. I'm not sure where I want my sign yet. This time of year in Colorado, you never know what the weather's going to be. Um, we've had snow in June before. So, all right, so I cut four pieces of wire. Let me see where I want my sign. I think I want it kind of like right here and then put the bow right here. Yeah, I'm going to put a ruffle down there because I can tell that it's probably going to sink. So I'm going to take a pipe cleaner, so I'm going to do pink. Am I buffering? No, nope, there we go. It looks like it was buffering on my screen. Uh, Josie, I'm not, you know, to be honest, I'm used to it now, but I used, to, when I first moved here, because in Portland, it's like 900 um, feet above sea level. And so here in Colorado Springs, it's like 5,000 feet above sea level. Um, and it was triggering my migraines really bad, but nowadays it's, sorry, I moved my thing. Okay. So I'm just going to put this on the first room. Okay. Go over here. really tight you want it really tight because you don't want your pipe cleaner moving around I think I'll put a pink in the middle okay take the other one do the same thing make a crossbar <laughs> My husband's so funny. <laughs> I have an Alexa, and so I have her remind me to take my pills every night. And so we share the the Alexa app on our phone. <laughs> and he um, modified my reminder and said, Michelle. So it says, Michelle. This is a reminder to take your pill because Stone Cold said so. <laughs> I'm like, what? What did they say? <laughs> All right, so. Fix the ribbons. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna measure this. I'm going to take some pink. I'm not measuring it, I'm just cutting it. Just curling the ends and then just kind of ruffling it. Okay, I'm gonna take another pink one. I'm gonna cut this in half because I don't need all of it. I'll probably do two ruffles. Okay, and then fold it over like that. Carrot changed it back to you. <laughs> Says you're watching. Okay, I'm just gonna wrap it around. 
pipe cleaner that I made as a crossbar. Okay. And cut the little phrase off. Kinda lift this up a little bit. Okay, there's that one. And we'll do a purple one. Hey, Julie, how are you, hun? Now it says it shows it shows you as me. Oh, that's why. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Okay, I'm gonna wrap this around pipe cleaner. Okay. All right, there. Now my favorite part. There. Now the sign won't sink in the middle. All right, sign time. This is not my favorite part, but I used to really hate putting the signs on, um, but I've gotten so used to it, it doesn't bother me anymore. Not as much as it used to. Okay, so I'm just gonna put one piece of wire Okay, and then just want to spin it. You could put a pipe cleaner in there too. You don't have to use wire. Pipe cleaners will fit in these holes. Because all it is is wire covered with chenille. Okay, so I'm just going to put this. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Susan. How are you, hon? Susan, I haven't seen you in forever. Thank you for coming, ladies. You could like and share. I appreciate it. So show me um, some thumbs up or some hearts. Let me know what you think of this wreath kit so far. All right, so I think I'm gonna put this right here so I can have my ribbons back up here and then I can put the okay. Now how I normally put a sign on is I'll start from one corner and then I'll go to the opposite corner. So diagonal. Okay, just gonna go through. I'll try to. Come on. Okay, Do you guys watch wrestling? Thank you guys. Oh, come on. It doesn't help that it's 90 degrees in here. Trying to get all this, there we go. Okay. Now when you're putting on your sign, you don't want it to smash. You want to put just enough tension on here. Okay. To where it's not going to move around. But you don't want to smash your mesh. So I'm gonna do this corner. I'm gonna go through this smash. It doesn't 
want to, this is ruffled, it's putting it down like that, there we go. It's hard to get a hold of these dingers. Sometimes. Okay, I'm gonna have to flip it over. Happens is it keeps slipping out of my fingers. There we go. And put it through here. I can, I have to be able to flip it over so I can see it. There we go. All right, there's that side. Okay. So you want it to look like it's coming out of the mesh, not squishing it. Once the sign is on, <laughs> everything else is easy. It's getting the sign on that just, thank you, Teresa. I tried the needle and I can't, I don't know, I don't like it. Feel your way around. Come on already. Seriously? There it is. Okay. Holy cannoli. Okay. Oh, there we go. Could have made them a little bit longer, but. All right, and we'll put the bow on. Now the wreath kit does come with a pre-made bow. Thank you, Teresa. All right, so now, cut these little boogers off. Take my bow. 
did put a pipe cleaner on it, so let's see. I want to put it like right here. Mm, I'm gonna put it right here. <laughs> oh, do you have your your um your earbuds in again? No, and you can put it, um, I like mine off a little bit. because I'm so hot. There we go. Okay, so you want to give it a little bit of tension, but you don't want to pull it down like that because see how it pulls your bow down? Okay, you just want to give it a little bit. Okay, there we go. And move it around. I'm gonna have heat stroke here in a minute. All right, there we go. All right, so there's the bow. Woo! Need a drink. I'm sweating. Oh, sorry. Okay. I'm just gonna move these ribbons just a little bit. your tails around to where your other your bow is not hiding all your ribbon okay. come on there we go now on the bow I normally put something in my bow but I left it for you guys to be able to do that yourselves if you wanted to. I mean, I'll probably still put something in my bow like I normally do. Um, but what I did is I went ahead and wrapped the middle of it. You can see that right there with the blue ribbon. So it's hiding that zip tie that I made the bow with. Okay. All right. Let's see how that looks cute okay yay all right so now we're gonna put in some embellishments so we got the um starfish pick and we got some lollipops oh so these can i put these on candy sticks and these are made out of cardboard so you can cut them and I'm gonna go ahead and cut them a little bit. Okay, got my glue gun on. Check on it. Hey, hey, hey. Make sure I didn't miss anybody. Okay, embellishment time. All right, so let's see. I think I want one like maybe right here. Probably end up still cutting the stick, but I kind of want to. Let's see, put one there. <laughs> and 
points. And these two, so I don't want to. Let's see, I'm gonna put one up here too, kind of like underneath the bow, maybe. Let's put one underneath the bow. I'm gonna cut this just a little bit. I'll stick that like right down there. That's cute. Okay. Just like that. Okay, I like that. Stick that one right here. So I'm just going to put some glue on here. Make sure you're not gluing these in before you, you got to make sure you like the placement of them. Otherwise it's a pain on the butt to get them out. You can get them out, but you'd have to use like a hair dryer and it's just easier if you just make sure you like it first. Okay. So I'm going to stick that one there. And I'm gonna stick this one, kind of move it down a little bit. Come on. I kind of turn this a little bit. There we go. Kind of stick this right there. I love these. These are so cute. This um, yarn I got to make these, I got it at Hobby Lobby. It's the sugar pom pom yarn. So cute. Okay. Okay, so. Quite a bit on this one. And then just stick this right down in there. Oh, there. Okay. That's what we got so far. Isn't that cute? Okay, now we're gonna take this apart. So what I love about picks is because it looks like you've got so many different things going on. Okay, so we'll have the starfish. And then we got some flowers. And then we got little shells and all right okay. um i'm not going to use this piece just because i don't like it personally you can use it in yours if you want but I don't particularly care for it okay. so I'm just cutting it off little by little okay there so 
with that one pick, you got lots of different pieces. Okay, so we got some flowers, starfish, we got those little berries. So let's see, where do I want to, I want to put the starfish like maybe right here. I'm right here. cut even more of these off too. Put this shell right there. Thanks, Kara. Let's see. Okay, put a little shell right there. something there and we'll show like right down here so over the webs today so I think I'm gonna put the flowers and some of the greenery in the bow shocking right <laughs> okay so I got this one up here mm -hmm. let's see Get off my ribbon, thank you. Let's see. There we go, put that right there. Okay. bit of greenery I don't know what's going on with that but I'm gonna cut that off thank you for coming you guys I appreciate all of your support I appreciate it you guys are amazing Okay, so put this one. Okay, so we'll stick that one right there. So got some greenery there. Put some greenery down here. So 
what I love about picks. You can just take them apart and you've got all kinds of stuff you can do with just one pick. weird connections right here and I don't know what they're supposed to be so I just take them off. Mm -mm -mm. Okay so I'm gonna stick this one right here with the starfish. Make sure this is where I want it. Okay. I'm almost done you guys. That one. All right, I'm gonna put some flowers in here in the bow. Like that. And then I'm gonna put a blue one in. You know me, love putting stuff in my bows. I had it down here. There I go. Sorry, I just get in the zone sometimes and I just, just go. <laughs> just go. All right, let's see. This one up here. Hmm, let's do this down here. I'll cut this off and put this with the starfish. Get down in there. Okay, put that on. And this white one. This white one, like right here. So, what I'm gonna do is I've got, I'm gonna even take this apart even more. Because I wanna put some in here and up there. Kind of turning that in. Thank you, Laura. I appreciate it. You're so sweet. I'm gonna put these flowers in here so it has some. And then put these ones up here. Like that. You can see how much, how far one pick can go. Pretty amazing. Okay. And I still have more greenery, which we're going to use. I don't know what this is. And this pick I got at um, Craft Outlet. I think it's such a cute pick. Okay, so I'm gonna stick this one like right here. And this one doesn't have any either, so I'm gonna stick this like right there. Cute. And then my friends, we are done. And I'll just, just fix my ribbons a little bit. And we'll be done. I think I had it down here. Oh, blue webs everywhere. Okay. Let's 
And you can get even like um, at the Dollar Tree, they have bags of shells. You could add more shells in here if you want. All right, so let me fix my ribbons here just a tad. Got bent here at the bottom because I kept pushing it. Done. I like the little pop of black in it. Okay, just fixing some of the bottom. Because as I was turning it around, my hands kept pushing it in. And then I'll show you what it looks like. I think it turned out really cute. Sometimes these ribbons like to stick to the mesh. There we go. So let me get on my little stool <laughs> so I can show you what it looks like. I'm gonna turn my grill gun off before I forget. That would be bad. Okay. Let me get closer. There we go. It's no fun being vertically challenged sometimes. Don't mind the mess back there. All right. Here we go. And there we go. That is the beach side sweet shop kit. Show me some thumbs up and some hearts. Let me know what you think. I think it turned out, I love those colors. They're so cute. Love them. These turned out cute too. I love it. it. Turned out really cute. Love it. So I do have this um, wreath kit in my shop. Um, last time I looked, there was three left. And you get everything in the kit that I just put in here. Thank you guys. Hey, Denise. Oh, y'all have to close the door. Sorry. Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you, Laura. Thank you, Becky. Thank you, CP. Yeah, sorry, Shelly. I have to keep the door open sometimes because it gets really, really hot in here. Like, I was already hot and I didn't even have the door shut. So next time I'll just shut the door and see if I can turn my fan on. If that'll help. Just need some air movement. Oh. So this is my first kit. I'm so excited. Thank you guys for coming. I appreciate all of your support. Um, I do also have another kit in my shop besides this one. It's a farmer's market kit um, and it comes with some cute embellishments as well. Like it's got some apples and some apple blossoms in it. Thank you, Claudia. Thank you, Denise. Funny. 
20 um, cuts. And you have options to buy up to 18 cuts. Isn't that, isn't that from how I'm supposed to have it in there? Because there's 18 kits for the farmhouse one. Maybe, I, um, maybe I'm listing it wrong. I don't know. I don't know. It's my first kit, so um, maybe I'm listing it wrong. The colony on your kits. All right, ladies. Well, thank you for coming. I appreciate it. You guys are amazing. Thank you for your support. Um, I wouldn't be able to, oh, this one's not glued in. I'll just, okay, well, let me just fix that. Hold on just a second. There, okay, now it's glued in. <laughs> oh, no, of this one. Oh, of the beach side, um wreath kit i only have three left on the farmer's kit i have 18 left no worries <laughs> no worries <laughs> not a problem i decided to do this one first instead of the farmhouse one the farmhouse kit i'm going to be doing live on friday um on my youtube page at 7 p.m. So if you want to see how um, that one is done, I will be doing that kit on Friday at the same time. So um, I know Kara's put my YouTube link on there. So, and if you want to subscribe to my page, that would be awesome as well. So you can get notifications of my lives because I go on my YouTube page live every Friday at 7 p.m. Oh, thanks, Laura. I appreciate that. Now, I tried to put in my kits what I would normally make in my... Thank you, Betsy. What I would put in my... Although, I put like nine times more embellishments on mine, which I couldn't do that on kits because I would have to charge like 150 bucks. <laughs> You get um, these lollipops come in with them too. So, all right, ladies, thank you for coming. I appreciate it. I gotta go outside and maybe hose myself off because it is hotter than Hades in here. But thank you for coming. Love you. Bye.